Hi kids, it's Jacob. Happy Easter. At church during Easter, we have a saying. It's, He is risen. And when I say that, you respond with, He is risen indeed. So let's give it a try. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Let's try it one more time. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Great job. Well, it's been a while since we've been able to be together at church. We've had this coronavirus stuff going on, and it's a, uh, things are a lot different than they normally are. You're probably going doing school from home, and your parents might be working at home. You've probably had maybe your sports and other activities canceled. Maybe friends and parties that you've been meet, wanting to do, um, you haven't been able to do. Visits from family and friends haven't taken place. And... Uh, just our normal stuff is not happening. And it's kind of sad. In fact, you may have all sorts of emotions. You might be disappointed. You might be frustrated. You might be angry. You might be full of energy because you've been in the house all day. You might even be a little happy that you don't have to go to school. And what I want you to know is that God wants to be with you even in the midst of this difficult time. And so we're going to pray right now. And we're going to pray for ourselves. We're going to pray for the doctors and nurses, we're going to pray for sick people, and we're going to pray for our world. And so if you want to fold your hands and close your eyes, we're going to pray together. Now, like I always say, you don't have to do that to pray. You can just talk to God wherever you're at. But sometimes that helps us focus. So let's do that now. Dear Jesus, we pray that you would help us to know your love and your comfort right now. And when we're afraid, Lord, that you would be with us and we would know your presence. We pray, Lord, that you would help us to be loving and com bring comfort to other people, Lord, right now. And then we pray for the doctors and nurses who are helping people. We pray that you would help them to have strength and wisdom on how to best make people feel better. We pray for the people who are sick, that you would give them um, comfort, that you would bring healing to their bodies, and that they would know you're with them. And we pray for our world, Lord, that you would help it to... Um, come to the end of this problem, Lord, and that we would all know you better through it. And we pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Now, for the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about Jesus's life. And today at Easter, we're going to have the, a very special um, lesson. Um, last week, we learned that Jesus died on the cross. Um, it was a very, very sad day that day. The religious leaders didn't like the things he had said and done. And so they made up stories and lied so that he would get in trouble. And the soldiers arrested him and nailed him to the cross and he died. His friends, the disciples, didn't know what to think or what to do. They didn't know what had happened to Jesus or what would happen next. So a couple of them took his body and laid it in a tomb. But back then, tombs were made out of caves. It was kind of like this. They had little caves. And in those caves, they put a rock in front of it. Now, Jesus had promised to come back to life in three days. And so the religious leaders remembered that. And they decided to put some guards in front of the tomb so that, Jesus, uh, so that none of Jesus' followers would pretend that Jesus had rose from the dead and steal his body. Now, no one really thought that Jesus would come back to life. In fact, but three days later, those... Uh, soldiers were in for a big surprise. Some women who were Jesus' disciples came to the tomb three days later and put, uh, to put some good-smelling spices on Jesus' body. But how were they going to move that big stone? What were they going to do? And when they got there, all of a sudden there was a powerful earthquake. And the angel of the Lord came down from heaven and rolled away the, the huge stone. The angel even sat on the stone. His body was as white as lightning. His clothes were as white as the brightest snow. The guards were afraid. They were so afraid that they shook and even fainted. And this is what the Bible says that the angels, the angels said to them. Let me read it. It's in Matthew 28, verses 5, 6, and, five, six, and 7. Then the angel spoke to the woman, to the women, don't be afraid, he said. I know you were looking for Jesus who was crucified. Now, crucified means that you died by being um, hung on a cross. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come see where his body is lay was lying. Now, go quickly and tell his disciples that he had risen from the dead. He is going ahead of you to Galilee, and he will be there. 
Remember what I have told you. And the women, the women hurried as fast as they could. They were a little afraid, but also full of joy. They got to the other disciples and told them about the empty tomb and about the angel. And those two of the other disciples decided to see for themselves and they raced to the tomb. And sure enough, it was empty. All that was left is some strips of cloth that were used to cover Jesus's body. The disciples ran back to tell the other disciples. And while they were talking, all of a sudden, Jesus showed up. He showed up in the middle of the room. How do you think he got in there? Do you think he knocked on the door? Nope. Do you think he opened the window and climbed in? Nope. He actually went right through the walls. The disciples thought he was a ghost. They, got, they were afraid. And then Jesus said, I want something to eat. So they gave him some fish and some bread and he ate it. And they knew that it was the real Jesus because ghosts do not eat. It took a while for the disciples to understand that Jesus was really back. And after all, people don't always raise from the dead. So over the next few weeks, Jesus came from time to time to remind the disciples and to teach them all about his life and his death and his resurrection. He wanted them to be able to tell everyone about what they had seen and heard. God raised Jesus from the dead to give us new life too. And when we trust in Jesus, we can live with him forever. That is really great news. Have a happy Easter.